what's up guys with chain lift feeds mark i'm adam we're gonna do a coaster countdown of a very patriotic park Six in the united flags states america america I salute you and for those who don't know it's right outside of washington dc federal government hence the patriotism it all makes sense if you think about it it does so it does. we got to visit six flags america for the first time mm -hmm. we rode all the coasters we're going to give you our countdown, our least favorite to our favorite at the park. That's right. We went on a very drizzly, drab, cold day. Yeah, which meant no lines, which is pretty sweet. We still had a lot of fun, though. Yeah, a lot of fun. All right. Want me to, want me to go first? Nope. I'm going to go first. Why, you jack? <laughs> I'm going to start it off with the kids' coaster. There's nine coasters here. Kid coaster is called the Great Chase. It's just your basic kids' coaster. You do get three laps. Wally Coyote. Chase's Roadrunner. That's the storyline. Yeah. And we did ride it. We rode it. We were the only two people on the coaster. The young lady who uh, loaded us on the train, she probably thought we were weirdos. That's okay. Coaster she credit. let us ride it. Coaster credit. My number nine. Mm -hmm. Cue the hate comments. It is not the great chase. It is that horrific bat wing. Don't! That's a... Horrific. <laughs> you like... You, you like... The Great Chase Bear and the Batwing? I did. I had a more enjoyable time. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not a fan of these Dutchmen, but this one, I don't know what it was. Maybe we got on its worst day, but like from the moment it left the station to the end, I was absolutely miserable. Wow. And that's, you know, at least Great Chase, I wasn't miserable. <laughs> right. Yeah. I was miserable. Yeah. Well, I hated it. Loathed it. Batwing. Okay. That's quite the take there. Okay. Number eight for me is Roar. It was a bit rough. Do the roar. <laughs> Do the roar. Do the so roar. Going into the park, though, we knew that it had a reputation for being extremely rough. Uh, so we made sure to sit front row, braced ourselves. I'm glad we did that because it, it definitely helps. There was a few moments where it was sort of fun. Uh, but overall, it, it needs an RMC treatment or it needs to be taken down. This is my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty forgettable. Mm -hmm. Uh... You're, uh, I'll talk about it more when I get to Roar. Okay. I have more thoughts on Roar. Yeah. Uh, my number eight is Mind Eraser. <laughs> I do not like the Comb SLCs. Yeah. Much like you watching, we hate <laughs> SLCs. SLCs. Yeah. That suspended looping coaster. Yeah. It stands for crappy coaster. Yes. I can't think of a clever SLC name. Um, Stupid looping coaster. Oh! Yay! <laughs> okay. Sucky. No. Stupid looping coaster is better. Stupid. Linguine. Loser. Stupid loser coaster. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Continue. Listen, folks. <laughs> Stop. No one wants that. Go we ahead. We hate the SLCs, don't we? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I think it's you. You're, are you done with Mind Eraser? Yeah, there's there's my number eight. Okay. Then my number seven is Mind Eraser. <laughs> it sucks. What's your number seven? It's a hell of an analysis. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been on one, you've been on all of them. And, and they've all sucked. <laughs> yeah. And this is no ex exception. Yes. I mean, there's, a, I don't know, 20 of these in the country or more. <laughs> and they all are toilet coasters. Super loser coasters. <laughs> Super loser coasters. Go ahead. All right. Uh, my number, my number seven? Yeah. My or, number seven. Yeah. Is it Great Chase? It should be. No. <laughs> it is Raging Cajun. Mm. I don't like Raging Cajun either. <laughs> now, you might be saying, come on, that now that's harmless. But it's yeah. not harmless. Because <laughs> those hairpin turns hurt. And worse yet, the biggest offender is the spinning. Holy moly, the spinning. Yeah. It's not like some like gradual, like slow spin. You are like it's this. Non-stop. The entire second half. What if he honks in the car? And I would like it seriously gave me a headache. I was woozy when I was done. It's way too much. It's not fun at all. It just sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna follow you right up with the uh, raging Cajun as well. I, I, I think the spinning wasn't so bad. I think there's some enjoyment be to be fun, had yeah. there, but like you gotta find a way to tone it down. Yeah, and I don't mind spinning coasters, but this one was just too much spinning, and it was too fast going through the hairpin turns. That area of the park does look great. The Mardi Gras area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks great. Raging Cajun is just too much. Too much spinning. Tone yeah. it down, guys. Yeah. You know, go go uh, watch our friend 
Angelo Giles channel watch his 4K version of Raging Cajun. You get the a POP. sense. Of, you get a sense of, uh, <laughs> of how intense the spinning is. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's yeah. not good. Yeah. Go Number ahead, six sir. for me. Yeah. Is it great chase or is it roar? <laughs> I will take great chase. Great chase is number six for me. Wow. You get two laps. This just speaks to how much I don't like those other three cultures. Yes, yeah, so those other three cultures are bigger and there's more yeah. like exciting things, but I didn't have any fun on them. They just gave me headaches and made me woozy. It's not fun. Yeah. I'd rather jo- ride the boring kitty coaster than ride those other three again. Yeah, I can see that. I disagree, but I can see that. Okay, at number five, I think I'm on number five. I don't know if I lost count. But number five, though, is Joker's Jinx, which is a premier shuttle coaster, launched coaster, spaghetti bowl. Spaghetti bowl. Uh, there's a few clones of these in the United States. Flight of Fears, uh, Poltergeist at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Mm. Uh, th- these coasters, they just don't do much for me. Which would be fair to say it's a spaghetti looping coaster? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you could. Yeah. It, uh, so, uh, you know, it's whatever. It's uh, not my favorite. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. Uh, my number five is Roar. Uh, so I think Roar, I think most people would say Roar is the worst coaster there. At least that's what I hear from a lot of mm-hmm. people. I think when we went there, we had such, I mean, we're talking like bottom of the barrel yeah. dirt level expectations of this thing. Yes. I think that mixed... With the front row, I got off. I was like, it wasn't that bad. Right. It's not good. It's not good right. or memorable. But like, I guess I was, I was expecting to be jackhammer the whole time. It just right. wasn't the case. Right in the front row, and it wasn't as crappy different. But yeah, but I guess overall, they're just like a bit. They just need some help. They need some help. Yeah. And, uh, Rocky Mountain coaster. Is that help? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or GCI, their new Titan track. Mm-hmm. Come there on, guys. Go. One of you. Steal a roar. Yeah, steal a roar. Wicked roar, whatever you want to call it. No one, you know, whatever. Number is four, it, sir? Is that me? Yes, Number four. I uh, is the uh, Batwing, mm-hmm. which is the Flying Dutchman that he talked about. was his least favorite coaster there. I didn't mind it so much. I don't really like the Flying Dutchman that much, but um, this one of the ones I've been on, this is probably my favorite. Mm. And I think I've, we've been on all of them in America. Speaking of Batman, yeah. you know what's better than Batwing? Chicken Watch, wings. No. Watching Chris O'Donnell do karate laundry. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're watching it right now. Oh, man. That oh, never gets so much better than that coaster. Oh, Chris O'Donnell, you man. <laughs> Look at that. Alfred. Oh, Alfred, you old card, you. <laughs> I can watch that all day. All right. No one does my, number, <laughs> my number four? You can't argue with this. No one's done laundry better in film than ever. Chris O'Donnell. Ever. Joel Schumacher, rest in peace, you beautiful, beautiful man. That was an amazing scene you made. One for the ages. My number four is Joker's Jinx. It's a spaghetti bowl coaster. Spaghetti looping coaster. That's not (laughs) your own name, but I'm calling it now. (laughs) The signage is karate, laundry-esque, cool. It is. Oh, yeah. You walk under Joker's face. You do. Do you walk in between his legs? Is he standing? No, he's on the side of the building. You walk up the stairs. Is he pointing? No, he's just looking there, and then you just walk in the stairs up the station. It looks cool, though. Yeah. There's some good theming. And you rock it off to Wonder Woman mm-hmm. and the Penguin Blizzard Beach or Blizzard River. Yeah. And that's uh, all it is in the D.C. area there. Yeah, the D.C. area. It's, it's big. Like, I would say almost half the park is yeah. like Gotham. I, honestly, City. I have no analysis. You guys have been on these spaghetti bowls. There's Flight of Fear. There's a Poltergeist. They're yeah. all the same. They're fine. Whatever. Yeah, and this one was, uh, it was pretty smooth. That's fine. I just don't like these yeah. type of coasters generally. Good old premiere. Yeah, so number three is Firebird. Which was Apocalypse, which was Iron Wolf at Great America. Yeah. First stand-up B&M coaster, first B&M coaster. They moved it to Six Flags America sometime in the 2000s. It was still a stand-up coaster called Apocalypse. And then a few years ago, they converted it to a floralist, Firebird. It's uh, it's your standard B&M, 90s B&M coaster. Uh, it has a lot of the same things, the yep. loops, the corkscrews, all that. It's fine. It's fun. It's nothing great. Number three is Firebird. Also, uh, the best thing going for it though is that that color scheme is sharp. Yeah, it looks great. You know, and, and it was twenty was it twenty nineteen when they when they changed it or I mean twenty eighteen I mean I think it was twenty eighteen. Yes. Twenty eighteen. So the paint color looks it just pops, especially yeah. in our in our 
stormy looking day. It looks yeah. great, the gray sky. Um, it's much better than the stand up version. It's much more comfortable. Mm-hmm. I, again, it, like you said, it's just like all these B and M's from like the late nineties, early two thousands. It's just like they're all the same sort of elements. Mm-hmm. You know, I always look at them as they're not great, they're not bad, right. they're just fine. They're yep. fine. That's yep. what Thunderbird or Firebird is. It's fine. They're good middle of the road filler coasters at parks. They're fun. Like reliable, fun, right. you know. Yeah. They're not gonna be in your top ten unless no. very highly unlikely. Right. Number two. Number for you. two uh, is their oldest coaster at the park. That would be Wild One, which is over a hundred years old. Um, centennial celebrated the centennial. Yeah, a couple a years, years ago. ago. It's an Ace roller coaster landmark. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a, your standard out and back wooden coaster. It's good. It's really fun. I liked it a lot. Really smooth. Uh, I like the classic coasters too. And this one I thought was really good. It is good. Uh, in fact, it's my number two coaster as well. The Wild One. All right. Uh, you know, we're, we have a real fondness of vintage. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, particularly the old wooden out and back ones we re- tend to really yeah, like, like, like Judge Roy Scream, Race Drake, Drake, and Racer. Racer. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I, could do without the, I could do without the Skull Mountain. I wish they'd kind of just get rid yeah, of that. that that's a bit of an eyesore. Yes. The greatest travesty is they put that, that Snickers banner on the, on the oh, yeah. tail. They're, they're a kind of... Uh, it's used as a big advertising piece right now, which is kind of too bad. It's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, six flags. You just, you just, Your you banner just, does not satisfy. You just... Uh, you get what I did? I got what you did. You just you just wipe your butt on uh, all yeah. of the, in the classics. Have a little bit more respect for a yeah. classic. You take that Snickers sign off that. And you put a Twix one up. And you put a Twix one up where it, or, got, where it got to be glued. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever gum they, they sponsor. Wrigley. Wrigley's. Yeah. Or Takis. Taki. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, well. number one for both of us is obviously Ride Steel. Yeah. Uh, is an Intamin Hyper Coaster. Okay. It yep. opened in 2000. Yep. It is a pretty much a clone. I don't know if they're mirror clones or clones, but uh, of the Darien Lake one, which opened in 99. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a very unique Hyper just because yeah. of one section. You have this Helix, this, I mean, massive yes. Helix. Then he goes in this just like bizarre straight away yes <laughs> into another massive helix yes that's crazy yep and and the straight away so darien lakes makes sense because it's over water yeah but six flags america is just this big huge field and they just cloned <laughs> it it's like ah just leave it just leave it <laughs> but i actually like, I like the straight that away because you feel like that at that point you feel like you got some real speed building up and as you shoot into the uh, that last big helix, yeah, I think you got like some like big like I don't know weeds like between it, so you kind of yeah. like they, you could tell they mowed it and just like yeah right through it. Yeah, I I do like that part actually. Yeah, and uh, the ending after the final helix, you got some nice airtime hills going to the station. That part's really there. fun. Yeah, it's the best part of the ride. Yeah, it's uh, the drop's okay. The drop's kind of mediocre. Yeah, um, for hyper, it, it's. It's it's a it's a fun coaster. It's not one of my favorite intimates. I don't think it's one of your favorite intimates. No. Uh, it, it was about what I expected. Yeah, it's easily the best coaster at the yeah. park. But yeah, as far as intimate inim, coasters go, certainly hyper coasters is one of my least favorites. But it's still really fun. It's yeah. still really solid. Yeah. So, yeah. That's our personal rank at Six Flags America. Remember, mm-hmm. folks, there is no right or wrong answer. It is whatever you think. Yeah. You know, and me putting a kitty coaster about three of them. I don't like those. I don't like those coasters. I don't have any fun on them. Maybe they got them on a bad day and they're, yeah. and like bad wings better. And I just got the worst time. But all I can do is go off, you know, where I wrote it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, tell us yours in the comment section. Maybe your top three if you want to do all nine. Uh, yeah, and then you can uh, you can uh, smash that like button. The most unenthusiastic. Yeah, definitely yeah. comment. And I'd like to hear what you, your thoughts are. Leave a like, subscribe, all those great things. And if you want to see more of us, which you. Obviously, I'm sure you do. Of course you do. You can check us out on Twitter and Instagram for some more coaster content and other mm-hmm. silliness. Uh, we're also, we have the podcast on iTunes and Spreaker.com. Yep. we got some shirts and stuff. And they go on YouTube as well. Yeah, and, and on YouTube. Yeah, you can find it on our YouTube channel. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Pew, 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 pew. Did you yell America when you hit the accelerator? Oh, no, no.